Hello, friends of St. John's. Boy, I tell you, I don't, I don't come in front of the camera very often, so I just want to take this time to say I miss you. Um, I'm keeping you in prayer, and I'm sure you're keeping all of us in prayer, and we're grateful for that. We feel it. Um, Father John, in his homily yesterday, he was talking, um, inviting us to pray together as a family, and so I have some of my family here, some of my staff family. Rachel is here with me, and Kelly is here today, too. You don't have to turn that. Oh, she hey. did. Yeah, she did. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're, we're going to talk about praying together as a family. Now, you might have young teens at, or young children at home. You might have teens and... Or maybe you just have a spouse that, you know, is home all the time. No, you're not used to it. Um, things are just a little bit different now, and it's hard to keep order in our lives, and maybe things are a little chaotic. So I'm going to be, be with you throughout this day a couple of times in hopes that maybe we can connect a couple of times in prayer and maybe establish a bit of that rhythm of prayer. I like to do mine at home. When I'm at home, I like to be um, in my piano room in my rocking chair. So I'm pulling that here and I'm in my, my happy, comfortable, relaxed space with some light. Maybe you have a space at your place too that you can find um, that's good for all of you together as a family. So this morning, I'm starting my day reflecting on the first reading of the day from the Acts of the Apostles. Um, let's start in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the apostles are talking with Peter about some people that didn't share in the same faith as them, but these people were accepting Jesus into their hearts and becoming believers. What strikes me about that is that for some reason, the apostles thought that only certain chosen people were invited to know Jesus. But Peter shares with them how he had a dream from God where he heard a voice and he says, the Holy Spirit told me to accept and love everyone in our lives even when it's hard. Well, that's not exactly what he said, but you get the gist of it. That's kind of the idea. So let's pray today remembering this. The Spirit tells us to accept and love everyone in our lives, even when it's hard. Let's take some time to offer a few petitions or special intentions for those we want to lift in prayer today. Um, I'll pray silently. Um, while maybe some of you at home maybe want to lift some prayers out loud um, together. So let's just take some time for that. Now, let's give thanks for this day. We'll lift all our prayers together that we just shared. We'll lift them together and give them to God who hears us as we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Um, so I ask you to join me again today. Maybe you'll have lunch around noon, maybe earlier or a little later, but we'll touch base again in prayer, and I'll have a question for you to talk about together when you're with your family. So have a great day.